you know, the only place that's really going to be cool, maybe <laughs> not even that, is the pool this weekend. Yeah, good spot to be. The pool forecast, we got green check marks across yeah. the board. Even into early next week, maybe take the kids out to one of the pools or perhaps a splash pad to cool off. Temperatures just continue to gradually get warmer each day. Again, we're not looking at record heat, nothing like that, but just hot enough that it is quite uncomfortable, no doubt about it. Let's take a look at what we've got in store for tomorrow. Again, today we're sitting at 95 at least so far for the high temperature. I've got us up to 97 by tomorrow afternoon. That heat index 100 to 105 tomorrow afternoon. Again, heat advisory criteria you got to get it up to at least 105 degrees. We'll be close to that tomorrow. Isolated showers still possible north and east tomorrow morning. I've got to look at that graphically coming up here in just a moment. Most of us, though, will probably stay dry. And again, temperatures should at least reach the mid 90s, if not the upper 90s, and then right around 100 as you get in the far northwestern portions of the area where we've been close to 100 the last couple of days. Perhaps one of the area lakes a good spot to cool off. Here's what we've got with those lake levels. And a lot of those levels are in really good shape. Keystone about 1.3 feet above the norm. Fort Gibson 1.1 feet above the norm. And how about you follow right at normal. Weekend forecast, we've got us up to 99 on Sunday. And those heat index values just getting a little bit hotter too. And we'll likely look at triple digits into early next week. Got a mostly clear sky right now in Tulsa. Great view here on the Wade's RV Weather Camera Network from downtown looking to the south. 95, our current temperature. And as mentioned, that's been our high at least so far for the day. South wind at 17 miles prior. At least we have a breeze. That does help out a bit. We're all quiet right now here in green country. Just some ground clutter. But we're watching one storm out here to the south end of the west of Woodward. A nice lightning producer and hopefully at least a little bit of rain out of that. But that's about all we've got in the area right now. And as mentioned graphically here, I wanted to show you just that slight chance overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, mostly across northern areas that we get a couple showers or maybe a stray thunderstorm. Most of us will stay dry. What's going to happen here over the next couple of days? You've got a ridge of high pressure out here to our west. You get sinking air or substance with that high. That's going to inch its way into the plains as we go into the weekend and early next week. So that's why our temperatures will get hotter. This trough here is pushing off to the east. And we've also got a weak trough across parts of Texas. We'll watch this as it tries to inch its way slowly north and westward. That'll keep storm chances in Texas. And maybe even by Monday, southeast Oklahoma could get into that storm chance. Right now, I'm going to leave us dry, but that might be something we have to watch early next week. With that ridge weakening, we should have a cold front move in by the middle of next week. So our triple digits Monday and Tuesday could become 80s on Thursday and look for a chance of storms as that front moves in. We'll be right back.